Three-year-old Eran might look like a picture of health, but two months ago it was a very different story. One month after recovering from a mild case of COVID, his mother Sarah Bitan found herself rushing him to an Israeli emergency room. He had a terrible rash all over his body, swollen eyes, red eyes, um, he was very weak, um, he didn't have an appetite, he didn't eat for a few days, he was crying a lot, he had pains in his legs, stomach pains, he couldn't go to the toilet. Um, I mean, he didn't go to the toilet already for a few days. Um, he suffered a lot, and all the tests they did for him, it was, it was terrible. Iran was eventually diagnosed with paediatric inflammatory multi-system syndrome, also known as PIMS, and was hospitalised for a week. It also goes by the acronym MISC. Iran has since fully recovered. While cases of severe illness and death from COVID-19 remain far more rare in kids than adults, tens of thousands of children worldwide may still struggle with its effects, including PIMS and long COVID. The American Centers for Disease Control has estimated 6,000 kids have suffered PIMS in the US alone, with 52 deaths. And doctors such as Shimon Reif of the Hadassah Medical Center in Jerusalem and Liet Ashkenazi Hofnung of the Schneider Medical Center in Petah Tikva, Israel, are still learning how the illness impacts children. It's, it's, it's a new disease, it's a new consequence. We never saw such a consequence of any, any viral or any disease. And it occurs mainly one to two months after they have corona. Nevertheless, it's, which is very interesting, they may have very mild disease of corona, even un undetectable, even asymptomatic. And only by when they have the PIMS, we recognize by serology tests that they had uh, corona. These are healthy children who suddenly have all these symptoms that really influence their daily lives and they struggle to go back. So what we see here in Schneider is definitely um, uh, physical health that's uh, very much influenced by this syndrome and also mental problems such as anxiety and also PTSD-like symptoms. PIMS, which typically occurs a few weeks after coronavirus infection, is caused by the immune system going into overdrive. It creates inflammation in the heart, lungs, kidneys, brain and gastrointestinal organs. Israeli doctors estimate it affects one in every 3,500 children infected with COVID-19 and has a fatality rate of 1 to 2 percent. Most children fully recover, but physicians and parents like Bitan want others to be aware of the risk infection can carry for young patients, especially as a growing number of countries are making COVID-19 vaccines eligible for younger children. I didn't know my son will have pimps and it happened to him. And I think that everyone should know it can happen. And I would like that everyone that it won't happen to anyone because we he suffered a lot, and I suffered um, with him. You're so skinny, yeah. <laughs>